everybody, this is Kenneth here with a little quick proof of concept. Uh, what we have here is the internals of your standard WRT54G or GL router. Uh, this happens to be a, a WRT54G Rev2. Um, and what I've done is I've pulled the serial port lines out of it and I've fed them over to an Arduino, which then has a liquid crystal display on it displaying whatever I, whatever I want to. So to, to prove that this works, what I do is on my computer over here, uh, right now I'm SSH'd into the router so I can say like echo, uh, this is a test message, and I route it into the serial port device, which is um, on tomato slash dev slash TTS slash zero or one. Uh, and so that, that, what that does is that echoed, this is a test message, and then instead of routing it to the standard out on the shell, which you expect normally, uh, it instead routed it into the serial port file. Coming back over to the controller here, so it routed it onto the zero serial port, is there's a zero serial port and a one serial port. I haven't soldered headers onto it yet, but it then sent it over to the Arduino and as you can see on this liquid crystal display the Arduino received that uh, and displayed it on the screen uh, at this point I don't have anything specifically set up for it to do other than that uh, there needs to be some level translation to go from the Arduino back to the uh, router because the router runs at 3.3 and the uh, Arduino runs at 5 but using a controller that runs natively at 3 uh, a lot of those problems will be solved, but none of my liquid crystal displays do that. So, this is it. Uh, do with this what you can.